Hello YouTube. So I thought today I would like to do just a quick video of my boot collection. So this is the original style I wore for years. Um, these are Red Wing 1412 boots. I have multiple pair of these so I didn't put them all out. As you can see I have applied tough toe to them just like I do with every other boat boot I have uh, these are eight inches in height Gore-Tex lined non safety toe they are 400 grams of thinsulate insulation uh, nutmeg ebb tide leather and a super sole 2.0 dual density urethane sole very comfortable boot these have a fiberglass shank in them so they're okay for ladder work but after a while in hooks your feet do hurt great boots um they worked well for me for many years and then my company safety policies changed so i gave up these boots and went to these these are the boots i've had for about six months these are the Red Wing 2292 boots. These are 10 inches in height, Gore-Tex lined, as you can see. Uh, 200 grams of thinsulate insulation, steel toe. They have a Gaucho Yuma leather, really tough leather. Um, Goodyear leather welt construction all the way around the boot. I have applied tough toe to these as well. These have a Vibram Tacoma sole. They also have a lineman, a steel lineman shank in these compared to the fiberglass in those. So it, it definitely a lot more comfortable climbing. These are great boots. I've, I've had no complaints with these boots. Absolutely great and every one of these boots are made in the usa so I've, I've chosen to stick exclusively with made in the usa boots um however these boots there were a couple of drawbacks to them so with with this one the 1412s you can see that there's a boot pull on there so you know, easy to get on and off and the soles with the dual density urethane sole was really comfortable and slip resistant in the winter the 2292s yeah no boot pull so they're a little rough to get on sometimes and the um tacoma sole it's really hard and slick in the winter and with only 200 grams of thinsulate they got a little chilly you know my feet got a little cold but other than that absolutely great boot they've held up great uh, I don't like right here. I'm not sure if that's a product of just the way it's designed or what, but you can see that the, the sole is actually, there's a crack between the outsole and the midsole with the welting. I mean, the stitching looks to be okay, so I, I don't know if that's normal. I mean, I'm just not sure about that. And it seems to do worse when it's dry. Like after I oil the boots, it, it seems like that that will seal up a little bit. So I've had these boots about seven months and just they've been great for me. I decided, however, to change it up a little bit and I went with a more specific boot for linemen. Um, I after numerous reviews and being on the fence about it for months, I decided to break down and do it. And that would be my newest addition. My Hoffman all leather power lines. Now, once again, these boots say they're 10 inches in height, but man, they're, they're a couple inches taller than my red wings. The sole is thicker. You can actually see that. I think that has something to do with the height. These have from the top up 400 grams of thinsulate ultra. So they're a little they're the same insulation as my uh original 1412s, which won't be too hard to get back, you know, used to wearing in the summer. 
they have a seven and a half ounce leather all the way around real really really tough and stiff leather um they have a tongue saver a kitty as you can see i did put my flags from my 2292s on my hoffmans i also went ahead and put tough toe along the hoffmans on so really tough leather composite toe waterproof lining gore-tex lined dual steel lineman shanks that run the length of the boot so the lineman shanks run from about here midway through the heel almost all the way to where the steel toe is and that's a dual shank system they are so comfortable these also have a a um, dual density urethane footbed that'll slide in top of those the red wings don't have a footbed they have a pour on footbed that kind of conforms to your foot and it's a little hard i mean they're, they're comfortable they're fairly comfortable the hoffman's i've wore for four or five days this week well four out of the five days this week last week for work i wore my hoffman's the first day they were rough to break in but you can see that i've got them creased up a little bit where my ankle bends you know i have oiled the hoffman's i will say this though um out of the five days of work this week I had to force myself to wear my Red Wing 2292s. I found myself reaching for my Hoffmans and more often than I would my Red Wings. I, I don't know if that's good or bad, but I can tell you, I absolutely love them. They are heavier than my Red Wings, but they're just absolutely the best boots I've ever had. I mean, they really are. The, the laces stay tied. I mean, they are waterproof, made in America, just an absolute beast of a boot. If you're new to wearing work boots and you need a job, you know, you have a job like a factory worker, postal worker, delivery guy, HVAC guy, you don't want these boots. These boots would not be, would not work out well for you. These, however, would be an absolute magic for your feet i mean they they're great boots i loved these boots these were probably a lot more comfortable than my 2292s however due to safety restrictions i can no longer wear these that's why i went with the 2292s however so since these are pretty much out of the question for me wearing you know i, I can wear them around the house mow the yard or whatever it's why there's grass on the bottom of that one but uh Currently, my my best, my favorite boots are my Hoffmans. Um, they don't. Well, you know, like I said earlier, the welting. These are Goodyear leather welted all the way around. There are four rows of stitching in just about everywhere in this boot. So that means that they're built like like a brick shit house, pretty much. The Red Wings, yeah, you got three rows there. And three rows on the heel counter the hoffman's just everything four rows of stitching machined eyelets and hooks they have a boot pull which is absolutely great and you can see the difference so let's look at the front of the boot so the goodyear leather welting on the hoffman's there's no gap no gap between the outsole and the midsole the red wings you can see the gap the, between the outsole and the midsole i'm not sure like i said i'm not sure with the red wings why why that's happening or what's going on with that you can see it really well there where with the hoffman's it just doesn't exist i mean it's nice and and flush and tight And like I've said, I found I find myself reaching for my Hoffmans more than I do my Red Wings. Not a diss to Red Wing, but I just prefer my Hoffmans. It's just simple as that. I prefer the Hoffmans over the Red Wings. 
and I really kind of feel bad because you know for years 20 plus years I've had Red Wing made in America boots and and you know I was glad I stuck with the brand when I purchased this style but I just I just like my Hoffman's better and it's just simple as that and you know you guys got to take care of your boots you can't just go months and months without oiling them i do oil my boots once a month whether they need it or not clean them up with some saddle soap or some warm soapy water then i oil them with um with red wing nature seals what i've been using i used it on my hoffman's and it works great helps ex protect the leather keeps the leather nice and su supple um it will also waterproof the leather even though these are all these all have a Gore-Tex lining in them, it still helps. And the Hoffman leather is so much thicker than the Red Wing. I mean, let's take a look right there. And you can see the difference in the leather. It's just these are just amazing boots. They're about the same price as the Red Wings, but you know, at over 300 bucks, about three, 350, something like that. So once you get up into that price range of boots what's another 50 bucks or whatever i mean it doesn't matter at that point these are actually still about 320 dollars. they still sell these boots in the red wing stores and they're still about 320 bucks so and i've got two pair of those a pair of those and a pair of those i mean i've got probably i don't know six fifty a thousand fifteen hundred dollars worth of boots and I can I only want to wear one pair of them <laughs> it's kind of ridiculous but I guess I have a boot fetish but guys if you have any questions or you've wore any of these boots comment below and I'll do my best to answer them and we'll go from there thanks have a great day guys